Hey, welcome back. Do you have lots of affiliations with lots of companies out there? Um, we're only affiliated to Elemental Pro, by the way, and I want to be really clear about that. But do you have affiliations with other software, other tools to do with WordPress, Elemental add-ons, or just loads of things out there, okay? How do you get that all across? Well, normally you'll put lots of links in your YouTube video, you'll have links on your website, you'll have links galore. But could you create a coupon page where you're actually displaying the discounts that you're offering to people? Yes, you can. With this WP Coupons and Deals WordPress coupon plugin. It is free. There is a premium version of this where you can upgrade to get loads more features like templates and other things like that. However, I'm just showing you the free version. So this is if you've got lots of affiliated um, commissions coming in and you want to kind of display them on a page or somewhere on your website or even advertising. People go to the page and they've got it all there nicely displayed rather than 20 links. And I'm not a fan of YouTube videos where they have 20 links in their description because I just feel like it starts to become overkill, okay? But you all know this one for Elemental Pro in ours, but that's the only one we do. So once you've installed this, okay, you can add a coupon, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to add one in, a fake one. It's not a real one, by the way, okay? I'm just going to show you how this works. And by the way, I'm in Rand Web Squadron. Obviously, you know that, but I hope you like, share, subscribe, and follow because we love having you. So we're going to add in a new coupon and we're going to call this coupon. I'm going to call it a wonderful, no, we won't call it wonderful deal. Let's just give it, let's just give it a name of elemental. I was going to go a bit crazy there, but we won't do that. Is this a coupon? Is it a deal? Is it an image? Hmm, image ones, oh, okay, I get it. It could be an image. So it's already like a, an affiliated image that someone has provided for you. Maybe you're with SiteGround. And they've given you like a banner or something to say, hey, look, if anyone signs up, you get a certain percentage, whatever. OK, they still pay the same, but you get a cut of that. So they've given you the image pre-built and everything. You could add the image with the link for the affiliated link, obviously. So when they click it, it takes them over there. So that's a really cool way to do it. But we're just going to do a coupon at the moment. We'll give it a coupon code of um, 1001 and I'm just going to pop in a link. OK, and this is a fake link, by the way. I'm just going to pop in a link to our main website like that. Obviously, you're going to put in your affiliate link. OK, discount amount text. So I'm going to say 50% uh, off. Right now, here's where you're going to put in your description. So we'll go with Lor Lorem Ipsum. I had to think about that then. Lorem Ipsum. Like, like, how do you forget how to spell Lorem Ipsum? We see it all the time, don't we? I'm just going to do this a little bit just to see how does this look when we start to mess around with the look of it. And you can add some further links in, but I would say don't overdo the links because the key thing is that they click that link to go and make the purchase because that's what you're doing. So coupon deal expiry. Yes, we are going to show it. And this expires on the 1st of December. No, it don't. I did that completely wrong. It expires. Oh, let me get this right. There we go. It expires on the 1st of December. We'll say, OK, hide coupon. Ah, so this feature is only available now. So choose whether you want to hide the coupon. This is only for the pro version. I would say, why would you want to hide it? You'd want to show it. And it might be the coupon is only available to members. Now, if you've got restrict content plugins like Paid Membership Pro or stuff like that, you could have a page where you you have to be a member before you can see the coupon. So you don't need to pay a pro version to hide it. You could do that by using your normal restrict content methodology. OK, so here's what the is. Ah, OK, sorry, I was meant to show you this bit as well. So here now we get to see what the coupon looks like. 50 percent off coupon elemental. So now I can start to think about. Do I want to, you know, make the title a bit, a bit more ad adventurous to sort of say, like, you know, Elemental 50% off lifetime deal. There is no such thing, okay? All right, Elemental Pro lifetime deal. Okay, there's no such deal, but you get to see how it's look. And we can see the bold there as well. Could we have changed a color scheme? You could probably stick a bit of HTML in there, I think, and then that's going to do what you want it to do. You could even be a bit funky with the content emojis. Nah, don't overdo it, but have a think about that. And we've got the code as well. We can have a featured image. So let's just set a featured image just for the sake of it. Let's just go with this one here. We've got a featured image. Um, it's not showing anything to here at the moment. Um, coupon vendors. This is really cool. If you're going to have different coupons on for different companies, you might have two for Elemental, five for SiteGround, 
uh, 10 for croco block, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so we'll just type in elemental and hit return. So that now is related to the elemental vendor, which I think is quite good if you're trying to keep a track of it. And we might as well add a category in as well, and we'll call this um, uh, percent, percent off. Okay, so any deals where we're giving a percentage off, that's where it is. You might have a special limited offer or a, you know, like a five day free trial, maybe, or something like that. Okay, so we're now going to publish that. Da, 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 da. Now, if we go to our coupons over here, we should now have a short code. Can you see that? It's given me the short code twice, which is slightly confusing, but I'm going to take that one there, the one that says coupon ID. We do have an option down here, though, called settings. And this is where you can start to decide on how many words you're going to show. Default is 30. I'm going to say leave it as uh, 100 words. I'm going to say click to copy coupon. Yep. Uh, click here to get this deal. Expires on. I'm happy with the wording. I don't think there's anything to worry about there. That's the coupon settings, the design settings. Let's go with a reddish color, something like that. Um, just because it kind of fits with our scheme. The border color, I'm going to go with a slightly gray color. Um, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Save settings. Uh, voting settings, which is really, really cool because people, you know, like I love it when you see a deal and people are up voting or down voting because that gives you an idea if it's even worth using. So enable voting buttons. I mean, this is all in the free version, which I think is ultra, ultra cool. You have voted successfully. Just, just vote. You have voted success. You have voted success. You have voting success message. You have voted success. It's a bit weird. Uh, I would change it to say... Uh, thanks for voting. The wording there, often I'm, I do wonder about, do they actually test this out? You have voted already. Voting failed. Yeah, that's cool. And now we'll go to the extras tab. Uh, enabling it will open the affiliate link in the current tab. By default, it opens in a new tab. I always want it to go to a new tab. I don't want it to be in that tab because you don't want it to go off your website and go elsewhere, right? I want it to stay here and SiteGround can be on the next window. Disable link in coupon title. We'll leave that as it is. Coupon deal. Yeah, I'm happy with the names. And then we have a knowledge base in case you want to like find out a few more questions. Now, so far, this is actually pretty, pretty easy, I think, for what it's doing. So let's copy the code. Let's go over to our page and let's just go to a blank page, a fake page. OK, we'll go to. I'm just going to add in a short code. We'll drop that in there and I'm going to drop the short code in and hit apply. So this is now where we kind of get to see how it looks. And I have to say it is quite big. It's a lot bigger than I actually thought it was going to be. 50% off. Not very clear, is it that, you know, and I would probably say hmm, we might want to do something about that. Um, you know, a bit of CSS or something, give it a bit of a great background. Or can we change the color of that box? But there again, you got the title. There's your coupon. It's telling you it's a coupon. You got your wording, uh, more or less. Not sure why it's got more or less, because that is all of the wording. Mm, so a few things that are a little bit off-putting. So let me just preview this page like so. So there we go. And I'm going to put a success. It's now said it's success. If I try it again, it says you've voted already. I can actually pull down as well. So I can start to upvote it or whatever. I can't tell if it's got a count yet, but I would like to think it does do that. 100% success. If I click the link, it's now opened a new window. I've still got my preview here, but it's opened a new window for us to go and now purchase the item. So that, for me, is a pretty simple, easy to use, in my opinion, coupons. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Coupons. There we go system to use. And if you do want to go with the pro version, there is a free pro trial over here that you could use if you want to trial it out. But if you do go to um, upgrade, so it's the, about $30 for the year if you want to have loads of other features. And the features you're going to get are uh, you can hide coupons, you have an exp ex ex expiration countdown, they give you templates, um, they give you loads of other stuff. But I'm personally thinking the free version is actually, I think, totally fine to use. So I would say just go with that, really. Anyway, look, I hope that helps you with just kind of advertising coupons on your pages. Have fun. Take care and I'll see you soon.